Bill, you've said something related to this so-called new definition of atheism. And so many of our atheist friends will insist that the definition of atheism is a lack of belief in God. Now, you've pointed out a couple of things that I think are related to this, and that is if a person lacks belief in God, that only tells you the mental or psychological or personal state of that person. Mm -hmm. It tells you nothing as to whether God exists. Right. And it's not a definition of atheism. It might be a definition uh, that a per what that a person is applying to themselves. Right. It's an autobiographical comment about one's personal psychology that I lack a belief in God. It it's not a view. It's not something that is either true or false. It's just the absence of this particular belief. And as I've said before, in that sense, our cat Muff was an atheist because she lacked belief in God and therefore was in this psychological state. But that says absolutely nothing about the truth or falsity of the proposition that God exists. Boy, I tell you, I cannot get a lot of people to see that, though. Hmm. They are really hanging on to this definition. You know why I think, Kevin, I think they hang on to this because it excuses them from engaging in the intellectual hard work of trying to justify their position. They don't have to offer then any justification for what they believe. They just say, well, I, I lack this belief. And it's really intellectual laziness. If I lacked the belief, say, that there is uh, gold on Mars, that wouldn't prove that there is no gold on Mars. Uh, even if there were no evidence that there is gold on Mars, that's not proof that there isn't gold on Mars. There could well be some gold there, and we just haven't found it yet. So the, the mere absence of having some belief doesn't go to prove that the entity in question doesn't exist. And you can't excuse yourself in that intellectually lazy way from justifying your viewpoint.